So I have a theory, and it's just a stupid harebrained theory that I'll share with you. I believe that in this day and age, later, you know, we have so many transgender and uh, mental disorders that have nothing to do with gender, but our, our depression and anxiety and all of those things have every generation amped up and they all started back in the 60s with the drug epidemic 60s and 70s drugs and then um, you know what their generation and the next generation and the next generation and there's a huge possibility that lots of drugs and hormones and all of these things are not getting we take a pill it gets digested, not 100%. There are very, very, very few pills that you can take that are 1,000, I mean, that are 100% absorbed into the body. Some of it still gets pushed out into waste. And where does that waste go? Down the toilet, into our sewer system, into our um, filtration system, and then we drink it. So my theory is that a lot of these drugs that we're taking are not being fully digested or filtered out of our water and drinking systems and our groundwater. And that over the years, we are getting more and more doses of these horrible toxins through just the simple fact that they're in the water. But that's my theory. So don't put your drugs down the toilet. Your pharmaceuticals, your, your I don't know, heroin, cocaine, hopefully you're not doing those things. I'm going into the dentist, I'm really upset done um it's starting to get hot i think i'm gonna go down to the library and see if they're open i really just want to go home but i need to get some books to study for my boards <coughs> and i want some simulation stuff to do with my i just absolutely lost my train of thought so sorry <laughs> so I'm outside. I'm going into the library, but I have to tell you this story. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be great if this was just allergies? Um, Brandon, like I told you, he's trading cars with his dad, but we were giving, we were putting four new tires on it because it needed, they were completely bald. And the guy went to take off the first tire to put tires on it and he straight up broke the lug nut off inside the tire, like inside the rim. And Brandon's like, they don't know what to do. They can't get it out. I'm like, well then they need to total the dang car and pay us for the car. And I know there's a couple of ways you can get that lug nut out, but this car is not worth hardly anything. So it's very frustrating. Well, I just dropped off the medications. I feel very dehydrated today. Um, I also feel very, kind of out of it, just very foggy. Why is my head so full of crap? Um, I'm gonna go up to the gas station and get a cup of nugget ice because it is my favorite thing to chew on when I'm dehydrated and not feeling great. And then I am going to go home and make some taco soup. So I'm gonna go get my ice, then I'm gonna go home. Yeah. Hey y'all. So I'm sitting in my hammock on my front porch. My lower half is in the sun. And uh, it is like, I'd say it's about 60 degrees out here. It's a little chilly, but sitting in the sun, I'm okay. I'm gonna hang out here for <coughs> at least an hour. And um, I is gonna watch some of my EMT reality shows and study that way because my brain is not functioning very well today. I've taken a Claritin. I have taken four ibuprofen for my pain and I am considering taking a Mucinex. But I'll think about that because I don't, I know I'm kind of dehydrated but I have so much mucus up in my head and in my throat. I really need to get rid of it. Um, nothing else is going on today I'm so fed up with Brandon's car I hate that car I hate it like I've always hated it I don't know whatever